is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. I've raised $1 in tips tonight, and I have a bunch of games to buy in the next couple of weeks, so. Help! If you'd like to go above and beyond, and would like to help me out, please, Tonight, if you could tip, I would really appreciate it. We're only at $11 in tips. This is bad. Um, the reason that I reduced the amount that I was playing Pokemon was because the support was drying up. And then all of a sudden, the last two Pokemon streams, I got a good amount of support. I even changed the way that people can name Pokemon. So if you tip me $25 tonight, you get to name a Pokemon in my playthrough. <clears throat> and it keeps that name forever. Okay? Last time, people loved it. Multiple people tipped. Tonight, we've got no one that tipped at all. Zero. So, it would be great if we could get someone who would tip... To name a Pokemon as well, if you want to. I'm not saying you have to. Every little bit helps. And this week in particular, I gotta buy two big games that are expensive. Next week, I gotta buy Elden Ring. And then every week in March, some weeks, two two games a week, I have to buy games. So, I am really am trying to consistently get some support here with tips. It would be great if we could get some stuff. In fact, we are not even close to the Tier 1 reward, which is the glasses. Tier 2 reward, I purposely saved the Pikachu hat for tonight. So, that we would have it for tonight if we had $100. Alright? So, one hour left. Please, guys, if you can support the stream, please do. I would strongly recommend if you can tip, please do. That's going to help me with the cost of games coming forward this week. And also, obviously, if you want to name a Pokemon, it's $25 tip. And uh, thank you in advance. All right? Let's just give them nothing for more money and suck in their money. Let's pull out the big the big Hoover vacuum and suck in the, do the dollars, right? This game is fucking full of shit. Full of shit. It's completely weakened in the red. It's drowsy, using a special type Pokeball that use, works against heavy F Pokemon, which he is, throwing it perfectly from behind, still can't catch the fucking Pokemon. Fuck off. Now nah, this is bullshit now. Seriously, like the fun of catching the tough Pokemon is going away now. It's stupid. Why is it that hard? Yeah, this is pissing me off now. The game at first was fun with these big boss fight style fights, but now they're just ridiculously un unwinnable. I did everything right. I had every stats effects on them and everything. No, fuck it. You still can't catch them. Then what's the fun in it? What is the fun in doing it then? I can understand challenge, but not... It's all random crapshoot gambling. That's stupid. Make it so that every time I... Stat okay, he has lower health. Stats dramatically increase. I put him to sleep. Stats dramatically increase. You're behind him using a heavy ball. Stats dramatically increase. Not, oh, negligible 1% more. 1% more. 1% more. Oh, so now instead of a 4% chance to catch, you have a 7% chance to catch. That is fucking stupid. I'm such a goddamn s scrub. I suck. I'm a scrub. So, fuck this. I don't care. I'm just gonna go do the story. That's frustrating to me, because I really wanted to catch him. And I'm like, man, it's challenging to do this. It's fun to try it. it, it it's, that's, that's just not fun anymore. Seriously, that's just not fun anymore. So, I'm just gonna ignore it. it this early on, this is not fun. This isn't fun. It's work. That's what they mean. The game is work. It's not fun. It's work. And we're up to $30 in tips now. Again, guys, remember... If you'd like to name a Pokemon that will stick with that name for the rest of the playthrough, it's $25 tip. I would also appreciate any other contributions, since tips are so damn slow tonight, and I need to buy so many games in the next week. It would definitely help out, guys. Alright, thank you. You're right, I ain't completely ignoring chat, because everyone's being stupid and dramatic and not talking about the game, so I'm just going to ignore everyone who's trying to derail the chat. I'm not. I'm just going to play the game and have fun with it. Gorilla Pimp, I'm not going to drop this game after tonight, but I may drop you after tonight, after the way you've been behaving, after not learning your lesson previously. Kevin did a super chat. He says, it's been a slow night for everything but super chats. Actually, you want to know the truth? We are currently at the, about the same amount of super chats as we are tips. It's about equal. The difference is I need help with tips right now to buy all these games coming out. So, <laughs> so we're about equal. No, super chats have not been great either. It's kind of been a slow night again. It's kind of like we're going back to how it was two Pokemon streams ago for some odd reason. I want to make a ginormous amount of money for no effort. And let's save up. So, guys, this is it. Uh, I have to say it. No one wanted the name of Pokemon tonight for whatever reason. Maybe they're just not interested, you know? 
I tried. Last time around it was the opposite. Last time around, I said, hey, name a Pokemon for 25 buck tip, and three people took advantage. Tonight, we got nobody. It is what it is, I guess. Guy, for those who were here, I do want to say thank you. It was a chill night. We did have a good time. Um, but sadly now, we're getting back to low support again. And I'm not sure what to do about that because people are here watching. There's engagement. You know what I mean? It's not that people don't like the playthrough. They absolutely are liking the playthrough. But for some reason, this just seems like a game that's just not getting consistent support. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to play it again. Thanks to those who chilled. I really do appreciate it. I still have a good time playing Pokemon. Um... I'm looking forward to the next stream this weekend, all right, guys? So thank you. Just oh, minutes. not enough money. Un unbelievable. Not enough money. That really blows. <laughs> not enough money. Not enough ah, money. that hurts. Not going to lie, that fucking hurts. And now Nathan just did a super chat and is wondering what I mean when I call things a puzzle boss. So when I say something is a puzzle boss, essentially what I mean is thus. That boss, for some odd reason, is designed in a special way that you need to know a special pattern or a simple thing that you must do, a puzzle perhaps, in order to beat it. So for example, if you're playing Resident Evil and there's a boss, or most bosses in Resident Evil, you just sink fucking ammo into them until they die. That's a standard boss of Resident Evil, right? But then all of a sudden, the game gives you a puzzle boss. A boss where you cannot just sink your ammo into it, it will never die. What you need to do is find out specifically what things to do in a row to kill it. So, for example, maybe when it's running around, you have to shoot its hand. Once you shoot its hand three times, it'll then fall off the wall, exposing a giant eye. Then you have to shoot the eye four times, and then it'll open up its mouth, and then finally you can unload your heaviest ammo into its mouth and start dealing damage. That's a puzzle boss, because you can't just directly fight it using the techniques and the information that you absorb during the course of the gameplay of the game. You need to know a specific series of things, attacks, button pushes, whatever it may be, in order to get to the point where you can beat the boss, okay? It's bullshit. Boss, games should not really have puzzle bosses. What they are, artificial difficulty. When if you're good at that game, you should be able to surmount and, and overcome any boss in the game. You know what a good example of that is? Sifu, that I just played. If you're good at parrying, dodging, and using the evades, you can beat every boss in that game easily. Not one boss is a secret technique boss where you need to master some new set of things out of nowhere. It's not that, oh, you need to do it in a certain order. It's not. You can beat all the bosses just knowing the, the major gameplay of that game. That's a well-designed game. A game that has, oh, all of a sudden after beating seven bosses, the eighth boss cannot be beaten normally. You gotta learn the specific thing to do. That's bullshit. That's a puzzle boss and that pisses me off. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Now, guys, we've been streaming for an hour. I got about an hour left on the stream. All right. We're only at $20 of tips, all right? This is not good. I don't know what's been going on with late streams recently, but it seems like it doesn't matter what I play on the late streams. For some reason, the support on the late streams has dramatically slowed down. It's the same with Pokemon last night. Skyrim now is getting slower, which is su surprising. Um, When Skyrim was day streams, this was actually the best stream I was doing. For like a month, it was the best supported. And now, for whatever reason, the support on the late streams is dying out. This kind of sucks. I mean, I need to afford a lot of games in the next couple of weeks. You know, I wanted to hopefully buy... Well, I wanted to buy both versions of King of Fighters. Um, but there's no way I can do that. Uh, definitely not right now. Especially with the fact that tips have just not been that great this uh, recently. This week in particular. Uh, we only hit... We just barely hit the Tier 2 tips call earlier today. And now we're at 20 bucks after an hour streaming Skyrim. Sucks. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Gin is great. <laughs> so guys, if you can, please tip. Obviously, we want to hit some rewards tonight. You know, Gunner Glasses at 50 and a hat, at least at 100. And again, it would help a lot to afford these new games tonight. I have to buy King of Fighters and install it. I was actually going to pre-buy Horizon tonight. But apparently, there's something people are saying that if you pre-buy it, you can't... Like, you know, when you, if you buy, no matter which version you buy, you're supposed to be able to get the other version for free. But apparently people pre-bought it and it's not doing that right now. And it doesn't even say when you pre-buy it that you get the other version. <clears throat> so I'm actually waiting. And uh, and I'm going to wait until tomorrow night. Because tomorrow night we'll be playing King of Fighters all day. And after the late stream tomorrow night, I'm going to go and see if they changed it. Or if it's now updated. To say, hey, buy this version. Get this version for free. Because remember, I want to get PS5 version. But of course, Cat wants to play the PS4 version. So we're going to you know do system share or whatever. Uh, and we got to make sure that it works. <clears throat> Ugh. So, I guess we'll see. But anyway, um, guys, tonight, please, if you support my streams and if you like the Skyrim, please tip me. I'm actually going to, I usually haven't done this in a long time. I'm going to put out a tweet because this is now the second night in a row where support is really slow on the late stream. 
and now I actually need more help than usual, and it's slow. So this is not good. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and tweet. Hopefully, we'll get maybe a few more people showing up to support. I, Again, it's baffling. Skyrim was doing really well all January, and whenever it was an early stream. All of a sudden, now, just because it becomes a late stream, all the, the, the support dries up. It's ridiculous. Like, here's hoping we'll get a few more people on the stream, and maybe some people will support. Like I said, it's concerning. Now, I'm, I'm basically going to be in a situation where I'm strapped for cash this week, which sucks. I shouldn't be, you know, but it's just life, and I don't know why things are slowing down when things are picking up with games. That sucks. Okay, you guys ready? I apologize that I have to do shit like that during the middle of the stream. Obviously, it's derailing. I don't want to, but it is what it is. You know, gotta do it. <clears throat> For Frozen Tree, no one cares about you doing DoorDash. Please stop saying dumb shit. Thanks. <laughs> yes, I already said thank you, everyone, for the 200 likes. I appreciate all the likes tonight, guys. It would be great if we can get support of other means. Right now, I really need help with tips. We haven't had a tip in an hour, and I need to afford all the games this coming week. So it would be great if some, if you could tip to support the stream if you enjoy the content. That would help more than anything right now. So thank you to anyone who does consider supporting during that method. I would really appreciate it. So guys, what I'd like to say is thank you so much. Good engagement tonight. Tons of likes on the stream. Thank you. Super Chats did okay. Tips were slow. Uh, I, I, I Quite frankly, slowest Skyrim stream I've done so far. I don't know what happened with that at all. Like, I just don't understand. Because people are here. They're engaged. They're having a good time. And... This is the slowest tip stream we've had for Skyrim. Sucks. I just hope that it's not a pattern. Because, like, you know you know how long this game is. And you know that, uh, you know, we're going to be doing a, a really chill, lengthy playthrough of it. And I would hate that because now I'm doing it as night streams with all these new releases out. That now all of a sudden the support for it is going to completely wane. That would really suck. But, overall, it was a great stream. I definitely had a good night. I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream as well. And uh, until next time, which is actually this weekend, it's going to be actually the last stream I do this week. Sunday night will be more Skyrim. And what we'll do, we'll continue on with the Thieves Guild stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, and keep it going. So thank you guys so very much. Until next time. You don't stream for the love of gaming. You just want money. Like, that's what you're here for, to suck money. You know? A fucking money vacuum. You just call yourself the money vacuum stream. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it i ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality <laughs>